air defenses have improved considerably, with China's HQ-9 and Russia's S-400 claiming to be able to shoot down recent US stealth aircraft, such as the F-35. As a result, if the United States wants to maintain unrivaled air superiority, it must be much more assertive in its use of stealth technology. NGAD fighter and B-21 Raider are the children of this policy. These aircraft are designed in such a way that they will destroy any enemy system they encounter before these systems even notice their presence. This is military mechanics and today we will look at stealth aircraft. The United States Air Force surprised the world in 2020 when it revealed that an aircraft developed for its NGAD fighter or Next Generation Air Dominance program had already been conceived, manufactured and tested. The world was interested in the possibility that America might already have a sixth generation fighter ready to go. The NGAD fighter is an open secret, much like the B-21 Raider, being developed by Northrop Grumman. Everyone is aware of its impending arrival, but we don't yet know all of its potential. In various publications, the US Air Force has made some of the official renderings of the NGAD fighter available for viewing. Many of these renderings appear to have omitted the usual vertical tail in favor of a triangular or wedge-shaped form for the NGAD fighter. The most recent images associated with the program show further features of the NGAD fighter, including internal ammunition storage, carrying its own electronic warfare capabilities, and utilizing improved engines intended to increase power and efficiency while further decreasing infrared exposure. The NGAD is also being developed to perform unmanned missions and participate in manned autonomous teaming in which human pilots collaborate with drones and unmanned platforms like loyal wingman planes. NGAD is the third imperative of the seven operational imperatives that have been outlined for USAF's future. Under this framework, the NGAD is critical for confronting the difficulties posed by increasing Chinese and Russian threats. This next-generation fighter jet would need to have a long range to reach faraway theatres without fixed bases, such as the Pacific. With the increased presence of anti-access area denial systems, supersonic speed and stealth would also be a must. The cost of the autonomous wingman for the NGAD is unknown to the Air Force. However, the service expects such combat drones to cost no more than half as much as their manned counterparts. Let's take a look back at B-21 then. This aircraft is a product of the Long Range Strike Bomber or LRSB, which is a program to develop a long-range strategic bomber for the United States Air Force, intended to be a heavy payload stealth aircraft capable of delivering thermonuclear weapons. The designation B-21 recognizes the radar as the first bomber of the 21st century. As part of the Long Range Strike Bomber program, the B-21 Raider will be a dual-capable penetrating strike stealth bomber capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. Aside from being an important asset in the US nuclear deterrent, the B-21 is part of a larger family of systems under development for a conventional long-range strike, surveillance and reconnaissance, electronic attack and communication. It has optionally manned capabilities and can use a variety of standoff and direct attack munitions. The B-21 is expected to replace all B-1 and B-2 bombers in service and form multiple additional squadrons, with the airframe possibly serving as the foundation for various supporting aircraft, such as tankers and airborne early warning jets. The B-21, which is designed to operate in tomorrow's high-end threat environment, will play a critical role in ensuring America's long-term air power capability. With the B-1 already in retirement due to extremely low availability rates, sometimes in the single digits, the need for a next-generation bomber in the form of the B-21 remains critical. 
Although the rival Russian program, the PAKDA, has faced significant delays, the Chinese H-20 is expected to enter service at around the same time as the B-21, and possibly years before it, and to be fielded in comparable numbers. However, the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider Strategic Bomber's first flight in 2022 is terminated. To protect sensitive program information, the USAF cannot divulge further details for the delay, but has confirmed that the aircraft's development continues to be within the cost, performance and schedule baseline set for its acquisition. Whether these two aircraft will be able to achieve their goals depends heavily on their ability to meet targets for operational costs and maintenance needs, which prior American stealth aircraft and stealth ships have very consistently failed to do, forcing the Pentagon to make deep cuts to planned acquisitions.